inferior nervous system. Yes, it includes lumbar plexus, sacral plexus, and posterior branches of spinal nerves. So first, lumbar plexus. Lumbar plexus, plexus lumbaris. It is one by uh, anterior branches from TH12 to L4. So TH12 and L4 partially only, and L1 to 3 completely. And topography of this lumbar plexus, it is located uh, laterally from lumbar vertebrae and um, uh, behind and in front, some branches are be behind and in front, so around psoas major muscle. Major. Yes. So what are the branches of lumbar plexus? First branch, it is iliohypogastric nerve, nervus iliohypogastricus. Here we cannot see it. It arises from lumbar plexus. It is formed by anterior branches of TH12 and L1, and it goes parallel to the iliac crest, but above it, and it supplies the MP on its way, it pierces muscles. So it supplies in, uh, transverse abdominis, internal oblique abdominis, and external oblique abdominis muscle, and then when it reaches anterior wall of the abdomen, it also supplies rectus abdominis and pyramidalis muscle. So uh, upper parts of these muscles, they are supplied by six lower intercostal nerves, and lower parts, they are supplied by branches of lumbar plexus. One of them is iliohypogastric nerve. Second nerve, it is ilioinguinal nerve, nervus ilioinguinalis. Here we also cannot see it. It goes uh, no, the same course as iliohypogastric nerve, yes, mm -hmm. uh, parallel to the iliac crest, exactly at the iliac crest. And it also supplies these muscles, transverse abdominis, internal oblique abdominis, external oblique abdominis, and then uh, it reaches um, anterior wall and it enters inguinal canal. Yes, that's why it is mm -hmm. ilioinguinal nerve. So it enters inguinal canal through deep inguinal ring. Inguinal canal we will have to revise. Ma'am, medially from the deep inguinal ring? No, exactly. This ilioinguinal nerve enters exactly through deep inguinal ring. Okay. Yes. And it passes through inguinal canal and it supplies uh, spermatic cord, all the structures of spermatic cord on its way. And in females around Round ligament inguinal. of uterus, yes. And then it leaves the inguinal canal through um, superficial inguinal ring and it gives scrotal branches and labial branches in females and also it supplies skin of this anteromedial superior region, we can say. Oh, no, this uh, proximal skin medial thigh. of... Uh -huh. Proximal medial thigh. No, yes, this, we can say, region of external genital organs. It is supplied by this nerve, ilioinguinal. The next branch, it is genitofemoral nerve, nervus genitofemoralis. Uh, so it arises also from lumbar plexus. Uh, it passes along the anterior surface of psoas major muscle. And here it gets divided into two branches. One branch is ge genital nerve and another is femoral. Femoral nerve, it passes under the inguinal ligament, uh, leaves pelvic cavity. Muscular. And it supplies uh, this you know, skin of also this region slightly laterally from uh, area of um, ilioinguinal nerve. Genital branch, it enters inguinal canal, but not through deep inguinal ring. Okay. Uh, it pierces, penetrates transverse fascia and enters somewhere in the middle of inguinal canal, then goes inside the inguinal canal together with ilioinguinal nerve, leaves through superficial inguinal ring, and also gives scrotal branches and uh, labial branches. The other branch, uh, it is obturator nerve. This one is obturator nerve, nervus obturatorius. So it uh, starts from medial margin of top psoas major muscle, goes downward, reaches obturator canal. How it is formed, you will have to revise. And while it passes through obturator canal, it gives branches to internal obturator and external obturator muscle. Then it leaves a pelvic cavity, and it gives branches to all the muscles of medial group of the side, which you will also revise, and also it gives cutaneous branch to skin of medial surface of the side. And the largest branch of lumbar plexus is uh, femoral nerve, uh, one more branch first, lateral femoral cutaneous nerve, nervus cutaneus femoris lateralis, it must be this one. It also arises from lumbar plexus, goes to the most lateral point of muscular space, what is muscular space you will also revise, so leaves through it and supplies skin of lateral region of the side. And the largest branch of lumbar plexus is femoral nerve, nervus femoralis, here and here. So it goes also along the anterior surface of uh, psoas major muscle, then to iliopsoas muscle, and it leaves pelvic cavity through uh, muscular space, yes, together with iliopsoas muscle. And right after exit from pelvic cavity through muscular space, it gets divided into its terminal branches. 
uh, first of all, it gives anterior femoral cutaneous nerve, nervous cutaneous femoris anterior to supply skin of anterior region of the side. It also gives muscular branches to supply anterior group of side muscles. And terminal branch of femoral nerve is saphenous nerve, nervus saphenus. So together with femoral artery and femoral vein, this saphenous nerve goes first in the femoral triangle, how it is formed, you will revise. Then it enters a ductal canal, which you will also revise. Mm -hmm. No, what is it? No, this is tendon, I guess. Tendon of muscle. Uh, here it is, what? Here. It enters the ductal canal. And then it should leave. So, a ductal canal, you will revise. Don't break anything, Akash. Has three openings. Yes, superior, inferior, and anterior. So, through superior opening, all the three structures enter. Saphenous nerve, femoral artery, and femoral vein. Through inferior opening, only femoral artery and femoral vein leave. Yes, here. It is like... Mm, opening like fissure in adductor magnus muscle. And through anterior opening, saphenous nerve together with descending genicular artery, it leaves. So this saphenous nerve, descending genicular artery is not here. And here we can see, we can see, well, this is its part. This is descending genicular artery, I think. And nerve is, no, yes, together they are. Artery and nerve, but broken. And so this saphenous nerve continues its movement along the uh, anteromedial surface of uh, the side first, uh, distal part, and then goes to the leg. And um, in proximal part of the leg, it gives infrapatella branch, which supplies skin of this region, and then continues downward and supplies skin of anteromedial surface of the leg. This is saphenous nerve. Okay. So it was lumbar plexus. Now sacral plexus, plexus sacralis, is formed by anterior branches of uh, spinal nerves from L4 to S3. L4 to S3. No, so here it is located. It is located on the pelvic surface of sacrum, here and here. And sacral plexus has short and long branches. Short branches of sacral plexus have the same names as parietal, nearly the same names, as parietal branches of uh, internal iliac, thank you, yes, artery. So the first branch, it is superior gluteal nerve, nervous gluteal superior. It leaves pelvic cavity together with um, superior gluteal artery, and it supplies, here we can see it, uh, superior, sorry, gluteus maximus muscle. What this is artery, yes, this is nerve. Together they leave and supply gluteus maximus muscle. Then inferior gluteal nerve, nervous gluteus inferior, it leaves through infrapiriform foramen. How is infrapiriform foramen? In infrapiriform foramen are formed, you will also revise. And this inferior gluteal nerve supplies gluteus medius and gluteus minimus muscle. The third branch is pudendal nerve, nervus pudendus. It also leaves uh, pelvic cavity through infrapiriform foramen. No, maybe inferior gluteal. Cannot see exactly. Maybe this was inferior gluteal nerve. So it supplies gluteus medius and gluteus minimus muscle. Then pudendal nerve, yes, also leaves pelvic cavity through intrapiriform foramen. And I, I cannot see it. And right after it leaves, it... Right after it leaves, it enters ischiorectal fossa. So it crosses the sacrotuberous ligament and enters ischiorectal fossa, which you will also revise through lesser sciatic foramen, which you will also revise, yes. And then it enters ischiorectal fossa, passes in the special canal, that is Alcox canal, that is located on the internal uh, surface of internal uh, fissure of internal obturator muscle, and it gives perineal branches to muscles of perineum, inferior rectal branches to external anal sphincter, and its terminal branches dorsal north of penis or dorsal north of clitoris in males and in females. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Long branches of sacral plexus, they are two. So first branch, it is posterior cutaneous north of sigh. Maybe it is this one. Yes, I think it is this one. 
So it goes, it leaves pelvic cavity through intraperiform foramen, goes downward, uh, and it reaches inferior margin of gluteus maximus muscle, and so it supplies skin of posterior region of the thigh. But after it um, uh, appears under the skin at the inferior margin of gluteus maximus muscle, it gives inferior clunial nerves to supply skin of okay. inferior one third of gluteal region. So yes, I guess this one is posterior cutaneous nerve of sign. And one more branch, long branch of sacral plexus. It is the largest nerve of the human body, the longest and the thickest nerve of the human body. Yes, it is sciatic nerve. Should we open it? Yes, I think. No, okay. Next time we'll open it. No, we don't need it. So, sciatic nerve. Nervus is hiaticus. Here it is. It also lives through intraperiform foramen. Here we can see it. And it goes downward uh, between muscles of uh, posterior um, group of thigh. And it gives branches to all of these muscles. And then it reaches uh, popliteal fossa. Popliteal fossa you will also revise. And in normal cases, in as a superior angle of popliteal fossa, it gets divided to its terminal branches, tibial nerve, nervus tibialis, and common perineal nerve, nervus perineus communis. Here we can see that this division is located very high, at a very high level, like this one is tibial nerve, and this one is uh, common perineal nerve. Then tibial nerve, nervus tibialis, um, continues and enters crura popliteal canal. How it is formed, you will also revise. But before it enters crura popliteal canal, it gives medial sural cutaneous nerve, nervus cutaneus sura medialis. Later, like it goes downward, it supplies skin of posterior medial surface of the leg, and uh, in the um, lower distal one third of the leg, it uh, can gets connected with lateral sural cutaneous nerve. That is a branch of common perineal nerve. Uh, yes. And together they form sural nerve, nervus suralis, that supplies skin of postera, posterior, and enterolateral surface of uh, distal one third of the leg also. And then it continues as lateral dorsal or medial. What's this? I also always confuse. Lateral, this is lateral. lateral no, medial, I think. Medial, yes, it, it goes here anteriorly and it forms medial dorsal cutaneous nerve, which supplies medial one third of skin of medial um, one third of dorsal surface of the foot. This is sural nerve. So tibial nerve passes in crura popliteal canal, uh, supplies all the muscles of posterior group of the leg, then it passes under the flexor retinaculum and comes to the foot, and here in the foot it gets divided into terminal branches, medial plantar nerve, uh, this one, and lateral plantar nerve, nervus plantaris uh, medialis and lateralis. And like in the hands, this medial and lateral plantar nerves, they supply muscles of the foot, yes, uh, C9 hypocena, medial supply sinus, lateral supply hypocena muscles, and also they supply skin of the tooth. So medial plantar nerve supplies skin of three and a half, medially, thin, uh, tooth, and lateral uh, plantar supplies skin of one and a half tooth laterally. So this is tibial nerve. Common perineal nerve enters muscular perineal canal. How it is formed? You will Revise also, before it enters the superior muscular perineal canal, it gives lateral sural cutaneous nerve, and in the muscular perineal canal, it gets divided into two terminal branches, superficial perineal and deep perineal nerve. Superficial perineal nerve, it goes uh, su uh, supply lateral group of the leg muscles, lateral group. So it goes after the downward, reaches the foot, and here in the foot it gets divided into lateral dorsal cutaneous and intermediate dorsal cutaneous nerves to supply skin of lateral and intermediate one third of dorsal surface of the foot. Deep perineal nerve goes anteriorly, lies on the anterior surface of interosseous membrane of the leg. It supplies muscles of anterior group of the leg. That's it. What? Together mm -hmm. with anterior tibialis, yes, it passes. So it supplies these muscles, and then also passes under the extensor retinaculum, goes to the foot, and supplies very small part of skin of edges and surfaces of greater and second two. Only this is supplied by deep perineal nerve. 
Okay, that was sacral plexus. And one more thing, these are posterior branches of spinal nerves. They are not as well developed, yes, as um, yes, anterior branches, so they do not form plexuses. They supply skin and muscles of posterior region, like trunk and neck. And we should know that posterior branch of the first cervical spinal nerve, it forms uh, suboccipital nerves that supplies uh, mass, suboccipital muscles. What are they? You'll have to revise. Then posterior branch of second cervical spinal nerve, it is uh, gray, gray occipital. occipital nerve, yes. It is sensory branch, it supplies skin of posteromedial uh, occipital region, so medially from area of nerve supply of less occipital nerve. Then posterior branches of lower cervical and thoracic spinal nerves, they supply skin and muscles of posterior neck, region. posterior region of neck and the back, neck. yes. Posterior branches of lumbar spinal nerves, they give superior cluneal nerves, which supply skin of uh, superior one third of gluteus, gluteal region, yes. Posterior branches of sacral spinal nerves, no, and coccygeal is only one, yes. It forms middle cluneal nerves, which supply skin of middle one third of the gluteal region. And inferior cluneal nerves, they are from posterior cutaneous uh, femoral nerve, yes. So that's what you will have to study. So we will again draw formation and branches of spinal nerve, yes, at the next lesson. And also you will write again nerve supply of any part of skin or any group of muscles. And if you write nerve supply group of muscles, you first have to write uh, names of muscles. Yes? Okay, any questions? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For